One of the best kept secrets of the Stone Age is that it wasn't really the Stone Age at all. This is just a convenient name that archaeologists have given it because stone tools are pretty much all that survives. But when things like the spears from Schoenigen were found, it makes you realise the skill that went into the making of wooden artefacts. We could have called it the Wood Age. And this Wood Age, deep in the Lower Paleolithic as early as one million years ago, was the time of an even earlier human species, the common ancestor of Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and the craftsmen who fashioned the Schoenigan spears. This is Homo erectus, the first human to leave the African homeland about one million years ago and to colonize the more temperate zones of Asia and Europe. The impulse to colonize is the concrete expression of the human instinct to look beyond one's immediate environment and to explore the unknown. If our more immediate ancestors have been dismissed as brutish and animalistic, it is not surprising that Homo erectus is generally viewed as barely superior to the apes. Yet to colonize, to move over thousands of miles, requires communication, forward planning, navigation skills, knowing when to travel. They were capable of walking great distances, but in this wood age, they didn't only seek new lands on foot, but also by boat. Once you accept that the skills we see applied to stone artifacts and tools would also have been applied to wood, then the possibilities for our old Stone Age ancestors are endless. For example, one thing that wood can do that stone can't is float. For people living by the sea, this is an observation which turned our lower Paleolithic ancestors into the first boat builders. Like uh, coastal populations today, they would have been heavily dependent on the sea for their main food sources. Uh, and that, of course, renders it somewhat unlikely that they didn't uh, try to exploit the resources that were just a bit offshore. They may have started off with uh, somebody... Uh,